Cody Windwalker here with Prehistoric Encounters and today's video will be on things to consider when you're getting a pet Syrian hamster. First thing is to ask is your lifestyle capable of doing it? Are you able to spend the time that you need? Cost. It's not just the cost of the hamster <coughs> in comparison to the food and stuff for it to chew on and all that. They're very cheap. Oh, we got a little hamster yawn. I love when I see them yawn. You get to see how crazy and big their mouth is. Time. Do you have the time to spend with them? They definitely want to spend time with their owner or their mommy or daddy. Studies have been shown to prove that people that have pets, whether they're hamsters, dogs, or whatnot, tend to be happier, live longer, and just overall be healthier than people that don't have any pets. So, essential materials you need. A safe, comfortable, escape-proof house, sufficient size and accommodations, as you saw by how many I have in here, a 10-gallon tank is perfect, or a small hamster cage. A secure lid or door that latches and securely. Travel container so you can take them, not on trips so much, but to the bed or stuff like that. Uh, nutritional food, obviously I've talked previously about <coughs> that I mix my own stuff. He's getting real close to the camera. <laughs> or she is. Um, nesting boxes, as you can see right down there. That's a nesting box. Water bottle. Stainless steel. Sipper. Safe chew sticks. Chew toys. That's what the cardboard cylinders are. Interesting toys, stuff like that. I always add more stuff to it. They don't really need a running wheel because they're Syrians. They don't actually run as much as the dwarves. Do you have the space? Do you have a big enough space for them? Other household pets, are they going to be in danger of being hurt by your other pets? These are all things to consider while getting a Syrian hamster. This one apparently loves the camera. Children, are your children going to be able to handle a pet Syrian hamster? <clears throat> they're nocturnal, meaning they're active at night. Is the noise going to bother you? Can you take it to a vet? And when to acquire a new pet? Where are you going to get it from? So these are all special considerations that you need to consider before you get a Syrian hamster. And this is Cody One Walker with Prehistoric Encounters. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is episode 20. We'll see you on episode 21. Thank you and have a great day.